Good morning, good morning. How are you today? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's Robin John of Rosenhaus. I'm going to take a sip. <clears throat> and try this again. There we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What is today? It is Wednesday, June 1st. I'm very happy to be here with you today. Um, let me see. I'm here. I have the chair is here for a reason. <laughs> Say hi. Here, you want to put your feet up here? Look. Say hello to the peoples. Say hello. You don't like to do that? Okay. Okay. We'll put you back in your chair. There you go. There you go. Okay. So, <laughs> little Izzy has some issues with uh, <laughs> separation anxiety. <laughs> he, if I'm in the room and, and he can't be next to me, it's, it's a problem. So I, I put the chair here to uh, see if that would help. Anyway, we are not here to talk about little Izzy. We are here to talk about today, the energy of today. Um, and I, you know, I got a little silly with today's, with today's, um, title, right? Turn left at the next traffic light. At least that's what I think I wrote. Um, <laughs> man, I think I need my ADD meds, which I don't have ADD meds, but I think I need them today. Um, <clears throat> oh, hello. Come here, look up here. Come here. That's a good boy. Hi. Can you look over there? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So I messaged it, I, 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 I named today's session, uh, turn left at the next traffic light, because, you know, there are days where you are working on your goal and you are like begging the universe for what the next right step is. And no matter what you do, it's like you can't hear it or you don't think you're hearing it or you don't trust that what you're hearing is the, the actual right and correct message. So today, that's not a problem. Today, is, you know, you'll be able to very, very, very clearly see or hear or just know that you are being guided in the right direction. <laughs> I, I don't know if having Izzy here is a good idea or not. <laughs> um, I am so sorry. He's, um, we call him serotonin. I'm sorry, we call him oxytocin because he is this little healing machine. Everybody who comes to the house, he goes, he picks a person and he just lays down next to them and people, st and, and he, and he rolls on his back and he wants to have his belly rubbed and he just relaxes when you start rubbing his belly. And in his relaxation, I see how the people who he's with, also, they just, it's like their whole central nervous system down regulates. It's really, really amazing. Um, and, you know, it's interesting because that actually plays into what we're talking about today. It's like you put your wish out to the universe, you pray, you, whatever, however you do this, right? And it, it starts mixing in, the energy of that starts mixing in with all the rest of the energy of the universe. And it shifts the vibration and you start to become aware of the little things that you can do in the moment. So that's what I'm saying, like, you know, turn left at the next traffic light. You're getting those messages. But if you can down-regulate 
your central nervous system in some way so that you're able to trust what you hear. That makes things even easier for you. You know, it's not people are like, the universe doesn't talk to me, I can't hear it. It's, it's not that it's not talking to you and, and you are hearing it, it's not registering because the other sounds and experiences and things going on, like especially if you're like me and easily distracted with a, with a, a nice dose of ADD, I mean, man, it, it really makes it hard. So what can you do to downregulate your central nervous system so that you can hear the, or recognize, let me put, say it that way, so that you can more easily recognize the messages of the universe, those very specific directions that you're getting that you don't know that you're getting. Right? I mean, you can't all have a little Izzy. I know you can't, though. You can't see him now. But he's got his, his head is on my knee now, and he, he flops his head, and I'm petting him. You just can't help but pet him. Right? And if you notice, the longer I've been doing that, the more focused I've been getting, and the more that I've been personally, you know, calming down. Like, I started out scattered, right? And like, oh, yeah. And like now I'm very straightforward. So this is really probably one of the biggest issues I see with people when they are saying they don't know what to do next. They can't see it. They're not hearing their intuition. Spirit's not talking to them. Their prayers aren't being answered. All of that. You need to find your way of calming down. Little Izzy is, is one of my um, subconscious ways of doing it. Like I always forget. I don't, I don't purpose, purposely go over to Izzy or even an angel and, and start petting them as a way of calming down and refocusing. You know, I, it's just, I don't, you know, for whatever reason, I never think consciously to do that. Um, <clears throat> but it is one of the ways, petting your dogs, petting your cats. If you just allow yourself to just enjoy the process of, of petting them, it truly helps. Yeah, and, you know, your ferrets, whatever it is, whatever animal will sit calmly by you, right? Um, it's, it's huge, huge for helping you to um, downregulate your central nervous system. For some people, breathing is really, really good. You need to be mindful of that because for some people, breathing can actually make them more nervous, believe it or not. So be aware. I like to, one of the ways that I like to do breathing is in a way that um, I have to count as well. So I breathe in for four, I hold for a count of four, I exhale for a count of four, and I hold for a count of four. You can do four, you can do six, you can do eight, whichever one. But when you take that inhale, you do want to breathe in through your nose and you want to breathe in such a way that your belly expands and then hold it. It's all equal amount. So if you do four, everything is four. In four, hold four, out four, hold four. <clears throat> if it's six, it's the same thing. Six, 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 eight, 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 right? But the way you want to breathe in is in through that belly. In through your nose, deep breath in. Try to, try to fill your belly with the air. That helps to reset your nervous system. Now, why, why are we doing it in that way? because now your mind is not only focusing on conscious breathing, it's also focusing on counting. So these are uh, just a couple of different ways to, to reset your nervous system. You've got to figure it out, right? Do, do some research. It's all out there. There's so many different ways to reset your nervous system, at least down, down level it 
and that will make it so that you can hear better and so that you can more easily recognize those clear, <clears throat> very concise directions that actually do come through. The other reason that we don't recognize it is because <clears throat> you judge it sometimes. Like, you might, you know, if I'm, in terms of losing weight, if I'm like, oh man, I'm having a hard time today, what's gonna make this easier? And I get the insight, oh, go make a cup of herbal tea. It makes sense, right? But if you are, let's say, trying to get something done, you're, you're working on something, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's, and it's quite active, right? And you're like, I, you know, what, what am I, what's, what's my next most aligned action? What, go make a cup of tea? What, that doesn't make any sense. But what you don't realize is, is that action that makes no sense to you can lead you into a flow that you wouldn't have gotten into by just sitting at your desk continuing to struggle over, you know, trying to figure out what, what you need to be doing next. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you? I stopped petting him. He gets very, uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> he gets very incensed when you stop petting him and he's not ready. So these things that don't make sense, they really are actual directions for you. They really are your actual next most aligned actions. Let them be. Let yourself have them. You know, go and make a cup of tea can be, it, it's a nice pattern interrupt. Depending on your particular process, it can be very relaxing. And there's the whole thing. If you're like me and you have 5,000 different kind of teas in the house, it's like then you're you're shifting your mind into okay you know making uh, the conscious decision on what kind of tea it's going to be how long am I going to steep it which mug do I want to use blah 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 a million you know a million different things am I going to sit at my desk with it am I going to sit on my couch with it am I actually even going to drink it and and before you know it it's like oh, I know what I need to do. I know what product or program to offer next. I know <clears throat> where I need to look for that, um, the contractor to build the new room on my house. Like all these thoughts come in because now you're not resisting it by going, I don't know what to do next. I don't know what to do next. I don't know what to do next. You are, you are always being given direction, always. You're never not being given direction. And the reason that you're always being given direction is because you are always emitting an energetic frequency. And that frequency is always sending messages out to the universe. And the universe, because the universe is all, you, you know, a, a, an electromagnetic field, <clears throat> it's constantly responding. It's constantly harmonizing with your energy. And so it's constantly bringing whatever it is that you're asking for. So when you are in that state of resistance, I don't know what to do next. I don't, I don't even think that I deserve this. Um, I didn't work hard enough in order to get what I want, so I can't really get it. And if I do get it, it's cheating. Oh my gosh. I cannot tell you how many clients that I have who feel like if something comes easy, they're cheating and they don't deserve it then. They didn't work hard enough for it. They didn't earn it, so they can't have it. They shouldn't have it. And that, oh man, that couldn't be farther, farther, farther from the truth. It just can't be. It's not. Things are allowed to come easy. They are. You are allowed to hear the universe easily, simply. 
you are allowed to, you get to. It's not cheating. It's not cheating. If you know of a shortcut and it's ethical, it's not cheating. And if you don't care about ethics, well, then it's the, and it's not ethical, then it's not cheating, right? But, you know, things get to be easy for you. Hearing and hearing spirit so clearly that you feel like, oh, okay, you know, it's, it's like your GPS speaking to you. Go to the, tra the next traffic light and make a left right? You can hear that clearly. You were getting direction that clearly. You get to. And today you will have that, you have the, the, the energy provides the opportunity, a stronger opportunity for you to experience your intuition that way. So I, I hope you um, give yourself the opportunity to downregulate your central nervous system a little bit today and that you really are able to hear, even if it's just once. That's all you need. And when I say hear, it's see, hear, feel, know. It's like however you get that. You might just get a hunch, right? It might be that. I really, I really, really, really wish for you to have that today. The energy is here for it. And um, and you get to have all of it without feeling like you're cheating just because it comes easy. So if that's also, if that is something that you often have a problem with, feeling like you're cheating when something comes too easy, feeling like you, if you didn't earn it, feeling like you shouldn't have it, feeling like, you know, you're doing something wrong because it was too easy. Then you definitely need to be hanging out with me tomorrow night for the group clearing that I'm doing. That group clearing is uh, $97. And it'll be, we're going to go, it depends. It depends on how many people show up live. It also depends on what comes through. So it'll be somewhere between 60 to 90 minutes, you know, is, is what I... I expect on the longest, on the longest side. But the point is that I'll be tapping into the group energy field of everybody who signed up, whether you're there live or not. And I will be creating that clearing, doing that clearing so that, you know, you can let things be easy for you so that you can like release the perfectionism so that you can stop feeling like you, like you need to do things so much better than somebody else just simply in order to earn the right to receive the rewards. You get to take up space on this planet. <laughs> We're going to be clearing all kinds of things like that, perfectionism, people, people pleasing, all of these things because they block your manifestation. These are all things that create resistance. These are all the things that, so what happens is because you have such strong emotions attached to these things, you're emitting a very strong elect electromagnetic field, stronger than the one that your thoughts create. And um, that's what the universe responds to. The universe, you know, responds to your dominant energy. So if you spend a lot of time in fear, then you are going to see more reasons to feel like maybe things aren't safe. And we want to correct that for you. And uh, I'm doing it this way so that you don't have to do the work. It's like we'll clear away as much of the energy as we can, and then I shouldn't say so that you don't have to do the work. It'll be easier for you to make the more beneficial decisions that you need to make and be able to enjoy your life more. And again, manifest, manifest so much faster, so much easier than before. Anyway, that's it. <clears throat> I hope that you will join us. I'm posting the link in the comments. I'm pinning it and um, 
I hope to see you there tomorrow night. Okay, guys? You, you get the recording if you can't make it live. I'm making it as easy as possible. So, all right, that's what I have for you today. Remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results. I will see you tomorrow.